Good evening, everyone. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Thursday night. It is 10.06 p.m. That's California time, October 2nd, 2025. Uh, latest activity here shows a 1.3 across California, also a 4.5 earthquake uh, across the area of Papua New Guinea, it looks like. Uh, a little bit of swarming going on there throughout the t last 24 hours, uh, 5.3 and a couple other fours in there. Uh, still seeing a lot of aftershock activity there across the Philippines. Bunch of movement going on. Uh, also some deeper activity there across the Japan region. So as you can see, it's been a, a pretty active day out here. Even some movement going on across the West Coast where uh, we'll start off on. Looks like some movement up around the Idaho area. Got a little trail of movement towards Yellowstone. That's uh, some of these fault systems here showing some independent earthquake activity. Uh, around Yellowstone, not a whole lot specifically there, but I'm sure uh, I can almost guarantee you that 3.9 showed up there in Yellowstone. Uh, so let's check this out here real quick from the USGS volcano site. And we're going to check out this one right here. That three-pointer came in, almost a near four-pointer came in, looks like just after 8 o'clock. Uh, there's a number of other earthquakes following that 3.9 that struck this evening. Uh, USGS, uh, well, doesn't look like they're reporting uh, any of that earthquake activity that followed the 3.9. Again, that's the 3.9, the larger reading, and there's uh, what looks like maybe some twos in there and some smaller quakes. Uh, and that looks to be local around this area, uh, either in Idaho or around the Yellowstone National Park region. So it's uh, definitely got some activity stirring up there. Uh, further out and about here across Washington, I don't see anything big, but uh, there is some earthquake activity around Mount Rainier. Look at that, a 2.2 .2 earthquake today up at the summit of Mount Rainier. Negative 1.2 miles there for the depth of the earthquake. That tells me that uh, it's a pretty shallow earthquake. Uh, in this area, the elevation runs, oh, it's probably higher than 10,368 feet because uh, this is further up towards the summit, but I don't think it's at that. Uh, so this is near surface area, just just below the ground here uh, for that 2.2. And obviously uh, that should show up, right? That's a decent sized earthquake for that area. Uh, Mount Rainier looks like it's up around the northern area of that volcano. So let's check out the seismograph station there and see what we got going on. It should be uh, fairly visible. Is it going to be that one? That's an 1855. 1855 would definitely be this reading right here. Now that looks a little odd in terms of the magnitude there. It looks like it's, it just doesn't look like a local event. Um, I do want to go back here and double check this other seismograph station here at a distance. See what it looks like there on this station as well. Yeah, it showed up also on that station. It just looks a little odd. It doesn't look like your typical uh, earthquake uh, on a nearby localized, you know, with a seismograph station literally right on top of it. Uh, it looks like it's just a little odd. Uh, there is some other earthquake activity in there as well. As you can see, those small events. I'm going to check out the previous UTC time. There's a number of them popping up here. And, of course, this looks nothing like what it did back in July, right? There was... A huge earthquake swarm around the 9th uh, that stirred up. And uh, there was hundreds of earthquakes popping out there each day. So nothing like that. But obviously it, it does look like we're starting to increase now uh, with earthquake activity. And also that 2.2 uh, leading up to the biggest one so far, uh, at least here in the last 24 hours. I'm sure, you know, obviously there's some smaller quake activity there across Mount Rainier not being reported. Um, but man, you really can't hide that earthquake, can you? And you kind of have to report on that. Interesting there. So, all right, so let's move on. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, some activity stirring up across Mount St. Helens as well today. So it's a couple of volcanoes out there across the Pacific Northwest showing a little bit of uh, elevated earthquake activity out there. Nothing of any major worry for now. There's a little line of activity here leading um, from, well, these are pretty much all within the same time period of each other, but a little migration there, it looks like. 
Uh, and these are very small earthquakes, not even anywhere near the 2.2 magnitude that we had up at uh, uh, Mount Rainier. But I do want to see here. The largest one was a 0.5. That was at 1343, so about 143. We need to go back to the previous UTC time. 143, all right. That would be this one right here, right? 1343. That's interesting there. So if that's one, then does that mean all these others are earthquakes as well? Because they look almost identical. What about this earthquake last night? Uh, I think they reported that one. Let me let me see here. I just want to look real quick, see if they reported. No, they didn't. See, there was a number of days from today's activity to uh, an event back in uh, the 30th of September. So they, they didn't even count this earthquake. That's a legit earthquake, and it's bigger than all these other ones that are showing up. Ooh, just got lightning out here. Big time uh, thunderbolt out there. Did you hear that? All right, I'm going to jump off the live stream here real quick, but I'm going to do a quick update. Got some thunderstorms firing up right now, big time. Bring your camera out there. All right, so we'll continue to watch that, folks. That's at uh, Mount St. Helens. I want to see what's firing up around me right now. That was a big thunderbolt. Uh, my dog's going to go crazy out here. So I'm going to have to go attend to him. I don't know where that came from. Maybe some dry... Oh, we got this right up here, right around me. Uh, so that's just, just now firing up. All right, so we'll keep checking back there on the Mount St. Helens activity for the West Coast. A number of earthquakes out here. Uh, mostly in the smaller microquake range here. Some movement around the San Andreas Fault as well. Southern California, got one earthquake over here around the Malibu. Uh, fault system that's a 1.4 far as the rest of the activity goes here pretty good cluster going on up along the curl camp Chatka and of course there's our movement around the Philippines and uh, a lot of activity down across the Papua New Guinea area look at that quite a bit of movement uh, Cascadia trimmer map here real quick uh, I wasn't counting on that storm firing up like that we got 397 epicenters here of uh, events that's slow slip events out there. Um, nothing big going on across the Cascadia for now, but we do want to be prepared. A lot of activity here across the Fiji and Tonga area since this morning's update. Bunch of fours and fives. Overall, a very active day today across the Pacific. Got some newer activity out here in the Atlantic as well. Uh, got some movement also across South America. Some deeper activity. I don't want to get get off this computer here 705 kilometers there a second for the uh, aurora activity which is stirring up right now so if you got clear skies you may want to get outside and check that out or flare thread out there fairly minimal for now i'm going to jump off here folks um, um and keep it short we will catch you guys out here in the morning for the friday morning update have a good one